In Visual Production Manager, you can create multiple queues and configure them according to the devices that will perform the tasks, the media that will be used, the type of tasks that have to be performed, and other general settings for the incoming jobs. To see all the settings that belong to one particular queue, select it and click on Queue Properties. In the general section, you will see the print mode selected. The print mode contains profile information, resolution, and printer options. So it is very important to select the proper one according to the media and ink type that will be used for the incoming job. On the right side of the print mode selected, click on the button with triple dots that will help you to choose the correct print mode by filtering the search with specific criteria. The Layout Manager section controls how incoming jobs are placed on the media and scheduled to output. By default, Auto Page is selected, which will place each job that is receiving to the queue as a separated job. The other options are Manual Layout which will allow you to accommodate the jobs as they come into the queue or Auto Nest which will automatically reposition all incoming jobs to conserve media. At the bottom of the screen you can specify the scheduling option for incoming jobs. If you want to fully automatize the process without your intervention select Auto Page for the layout mode Put a check mark on Close Page on Import. And for Print and Cut Jobs or Print Jobs, select Rip and Print Now or Rip and Print and Cut Now. Then, as soon as a new job is received into the queue, it will be processed and sent to the printer or cutter. The printer specific settings are located into the print mode override section under printer options. Click on change default printer options if you need to modify any of those settings. Here you will find the heat control settings, cut paper, print direction, etc. according to the device that you're using. These changes made here will affect all the new incoming jobs. Keep in mind that some of these advanced settings are hidden by default. If you don't see some of the settings you're looking for, click on Tool, Options, and put a check mark under Show Advanced Settings and Options. Click on Save and Close, and the advanced settings will be now enabled.